Told you, too open. <laughs> too open. They will not leave Kyle Tolbert. I don't care. Dan, Dan Miller, he's the guy I thought would guard him. And Dan Miller will not leave Tolbert, no matter what. Well, look at how patient Creighton is, and it pays off. Lindemann for the first two for the Blue Jays. Always look at <laughs> him. Yeah, and I appreciate uh, working for HD TV and having a great seat for this great game. Creighton. He knows, Carroll knows, he's got to have a big game. He's the, he's the leader of this team. He's the heart and soul of Notre Dame. That was a two-pointer. One foot on that blue line. The blue line is the one to concentrate on. And Brody Darren doesn't worry about the pain. Give McKinney a break. Notre Dame doing a nice job of keeping Corver quiet. Dabber, little hook. Nice shot. Fabulous. Thomas pulls up. That's well short. Funk tracks down the rebound. Thomas is not going to let Funk play him. Bowden. Whoa. Whoa. And now we've got some extracurricular going on. Dabbert, a little bit injured. Timmermans kicked him to get him off. Well, we expected a physical game. Let's watch it. Bowden going to the basket. Now watch later. Keep it rolling. Watch right here. Oh, boy. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. going to allow Funk, a freshman, to guard him. Man, the intensity level has gone up about 10 notches here at Municipal. And look who's shooting the ball. Corver for three. Great, great help, Barnett King. Remember, Creighton wants an up-tempo game. Look, good help, good help. But he's amazing. He's relentless when it comes to uh, shooting the basketball. One of the quickest triggers in the Midwest. Cornette's got to get there quicker. You cannot let great shooters, you can't give him any space. Kyle, quick draw Corver. Exactly. <laughs> and the Blue Jays are the ones standing and applauding right now. That guy could play in the NBA. Miller's job tonight is to guard Carver. Forget about offense. He's got to stick to number 25. House pulls up. Whoa! Wow, what a finish by Grimes. Grimes, another player comes off the lift he gave Notre Dame last night. Well, look at this. Look at this offensive going to the hole. Wow, no block out. Coach Bray said, guys, find the man. Turn around. There was a danger period there for Notre Dame, but I think now they've gotten back, and the flow of the game is much better for Notre Dame. House for three. House with his own rebound. Dabbert, and that one will go. Well, if it he recruited, 6'2", freshman. Quinn will take the place of Carroll, not Thomas. Thomas stays in with two fouls. Wow. And that's just good recognition by Bowden. He knows that Thomas has a rebound off the Thomas miss. Wide open Lindemann for three. And Creighton surges ahead. That's a great guard. And again, scouting report. I, I, Mike Gray saying, Chris, you're not going to let a freshman guard you. Nice move. Good move by Dabbert. That cuts the lead down to three. All out of bounds play set for Corbin. He's going to shoot it from long range. Wow, that's an NBA three. I love it. I absolutely love it. See, all out of bounds plays are set. Look at a double screen. 
way outside the arc, no hesitation. Look how far back he is of the blue line. Yeah. See, the, the second Notre Dame sees him open, they gotta forget the screen, just run out. Creighton's got some decisions to make at halftime. Such as? Such as maybe backing off the pressure a little bit. I don't think he will. Nice move. Good, good recognition of, of the mismatch. When you saw the telling graphic how they struggled early, but really found their legs. McKinney, nice move. Back off the bench. Beautiful. They're good in the game. Especially with Timmermans now out because he has three fouls. So they're going with a slightly smaller lineup. Look at this shot. Carver, oh, wow! How do you defend that? You don't. Good patience. Tough shot. Creighton can go for the last shot if they want. No, they won't. They're going to attack. Why not? And you get a layup for Milner. Coach is yelling, one shot, one shot. And almost a steal. Boy, how quickly things turn around with the shooting of Corver. What a run by Altman's Blue Jays. And here come the fans. This guy, he loves to attack too. A, a it's gonna be interesting to see what style prevails here. Creighton will inbound the ball to begin the second 20. Here we go. Tyler McKinney with the ball, brings it across the timeline. Lindemann out there along with Darren. Corver, of course, and House. Corver picking up where he left off. Darren trying to work on Francis. Good kick out. Miller glued to Corver. House. Nice little move in the paint. Takes it to the house. <laughs> I think uh, Mike Gray wants Timmerman down low rather than shoot that ball. Good move. Got him. Darren, nice move inside. Beautiful. Um, there you see the big guy. It's just what you call taking it to the hole. Beautiful move. But the one. right he can shoot it too well he's got that left-handed stroke and um, he's a dangerous shooter you can't leave him wide open that really is it's you know I noticed Creighton took a little pressure off there and played straight half court the ball's alive it has to go over the basket for it to be dead so any part of that backboard is alive Corver ripped the rebound away from Cornette Corver for three that was dead on Lindemann tracks down the rebound See, that's what I like about three-point shooting. You can get long rebounds. Here they go to their half-court offense. Nice pass. McKinney from Carver. Back screen. Back screen set at the high post. And that just got to leave his man and go help out. Carver diving on the ground. Gets it to McKinney. Turnover for the Irish. Nice penetration. McKinney, count it! Wow. That was outstanding penetration. Loose ball. Look who's on the floor. All over. Look at Corbin. Fans, uh, they're, uh, they're thinking a little run here. Excellent call. Good. Good contact, good foul. Darren just paved the way for him, didn't he? Cleared out the lane. Yes, he did. These turnovers are uncharacteristic of a of Creighton because they have experience. He's going to take it inside. Count it! What a move by Brody Darren. Well, it's pretty obvious that uh, Dana Altman recognizes a mis mismatch between Brody Darren and Timmermans. Now Notre Dame got to make a decision. Do you come double that? But here's a half-court offense. Uh-oh, here he is. You've got to be kidding me. Carver with bodies falling all over the place. Dave, he, he had a 
TV. Dame, the fighting Irish fighting back despite the unbelievable shooting of Kyle Korver. I believe that was House who helped out. Funk, nice running one-hander. He's not afraid. He had 10 points last night. The one and one. Turns out to be a, a big call in the game. Still a five-point Creighton lead. Good no call. McKinney wow. got the three with Miller. I'm experienced at Timmermans being a junior. I, I, I feel like uh, in this type of game, look at that. Admit, look at the rebound by you know who. Golly, is he good. Kyle Korver, he is opening eyes. About 16 for Chris Thomas. They, they got to get Funk off of Thomas. Look at this. Korver, oh, nothing but net. Are you kidding me? 24 for Korver. Yeah, Dave, I, I just don't know what to say. I, I've, I've watched a lot of basketball. I've coached a lot of basketball, and and this is just as fine an outside shooting exhibition as you will see. Wow. Yeah, there's just no words to describe that. None. I, I mean, you know, Chris Thomas is saying, man, how do you stop that? You don't. Swish comes to mind yeah. is one way to describe it. Now, now you know how they upset Florida, but great players step up in great games, and uh, uh, this is fun. This is, this is a big possession for great. They need to score here. Well, who are you going to get it to then? Darren's not a bad option. Boy, he really had Timmerman sealed down low. He, possession with a three-point shot. Under two minutes to go in regulation. McKinney, just a pass to the basket. No one stopped him. 